everybody, here's a sneak peek at the art journal page we're making today. I'm working in my large dilutions art journal on a page that's already been pre gessoed and now I'm applying paint with my palette knife. As you may have seen, I applied the paint directly to my palette knife and then I began spreading it. And the reason why I did it this way is that it allows some areas to be a little bit thicker with paint and some to be a little bit thinner. It's really creating a vintagey vibe, which is what I'm going for with this page. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm happy with my coverage. I don't want it to be perfect because again, I want it to have that vintage worn look. The names of the products and all the colors that I will be using today are listed in the description below. So check that out if you want more information. After the paint has had a chance to dry, I'm going in with Distress Oxides, which are a really interesting ink and they're a hybrid of pigment and dye. So they're going to have nice coverage over my page, but also they're going to react with water and run and move. So I'm going to use two different colors of this because I'm again, I'm building up the layers to create a vintagey vibe on this page. And I'm going to just play, apply this darker color around the outside of my page and also a little bit through the middle so that I have not just a perfect frame, I want it to have a lot of texture and character. And then I'm going to let this ink dry. Now I'm grabbing a piece of white cardstock and a build a rainbow stamp set. And I'm going to start stamping down this rainbow in different colors of distress ink. So I've a, I'm going to be working not only on the white cardstock, but directly onto my background. So I'm doing the first ring of the rainbow with red. And I'm going to do this all over my background. And then I'm going to go ahead and start doing all the different rings of the rainbow. All the colors that I've chosen do have a bit of a vintage tone to them. So even though they're bright, happy rainbow colors, they are in some cases a little bit more muted. And I'm also choosing to do this with Distress Ink because Distress Ink will react with water, which I'm going to, after I have all the different colors of the rainbow stamped out, I will be applying water over the top of it to make the ink move and react. I'm also stamping, as I mentioned before, on the white cardstock as well as the background because I will be cutting out the white cardstock rainbow as another layering element on my page. So I'm going to have the bright rainbow and the background vintage colored rainbow. So because these are distress inks, as I mentioned, they do react with water. So I'm using my distress sprayer to just sprinkle little bits of water all randomly all over these rainbows so that the water starts to move the ink a little bit and I get some color splotches and it makes it be not quite so perfect, a little bit more vintagey. And then I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to bring in some distress paint and Distress Paint is a really cool product because it does react like the rest of the line when it's wet, but when it's dry, it's permanent as acrylic paints are. So it's a really fun product to play with and also it's opaque. So it's going to layer over all of these uh, inks really nicely and cover them up so that I can be creating lots of layers and dimension in my rainbows. So I'm applying these colors to my stamp and then I'm stamping them both again on the white cardstock and on the background. And then I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of water while they're wet so that I can get that paint to move and then I'm gonna let it dry 100%. While that's drying, I'm, I'm also using a few colors of Distress Ink, two different purples. Again, those colors are listed in the description below. And I'm stamping those hearts out in the two different colors of purple and then I will cut them out with my Fiskar scissors. After everything is dry, I'm going to apply some Distress Microglaze with the mini blending tool over all of the inks and then buff away the excess with a paper towel. Distress Microglaze protects water reactive products and seals it and makes it permanent. So as I'm continuing to work on this, I'm not risking anything I've done so far. It's sealed. After I have taken the steps to protect my background, I can now begin collaging on top of it without any worry of ruining or damaging anything that I've done previously. And so as I mentioned before, I am cutting out all of the elements that I stamped with my Fiskar Micro Snip Scissors and I'm gluing them onto my page with Distress Collage Medium. I'm applying the glue with my finger, but you could also use a brush if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. I like to use my finger because it's fast and it's easy to clean up with a baby wipe. So I've glued down the rainbow stripes and the clouds and now I'm also going to glue down this graduation photo which was taken in 1949. I purchased this photo along with others at an estate sale. There was no one who wanted them in the family, so I am giving them new life now in my art journal so they will be enjoyed for future generations. I really like to use vintage photos. I feel like they have a lot of character. And also it went nicely with the vintage vibes that I was creating on the background and 
the rainbow theme goes nicely for graduation. I'm also going to use a Tim Holtz Ideology Clipping sticker, and I'm cutting the sticker in half to say she dreamed beautiful dreams, which went nicely with the graduation photo, and also because rainbows and clouds are often associated with dreams, so it fits in both ways. I'm going to finish out the page by gluing down these hearts, which I've stamped in two different colors of purple. And you can see in the rainbow, there actually isn't purple represented. So I'm bringing in the purple to finish out the rainbow color palette by including both indigo and violet hearts. And I'm going to just glue them around the focal point of the photo until I'm happy with how many hearts I have placed. I have them in a bunch of different sizes. So I'm just going to continue putting these down onto the page until I'm happy with how many are there. And then I'm going to let this dry. I'm gluing everything down with Distress Collage Medium, which is my preferred glue, as I mentioned before. And with that, my page is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired and got ideas to use in your own art journal. I would love to see what you're making, so take a picture and post it using hashtag ArtJournalJunction. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And also hit the subscribe button so YouTube knows you want to see more mixed media and art journaling videos in the future.